On August 9th, 2011, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS became the fastest car in the for Speed world, being a lot faster than its competitor and previous Tier 3 King, yeah, I'm talking back with tears, the Lamborghini Murcielago LP640. At the time of this video, there are only two versions of a Porsche 911 GT3 RS, the gray stock edition and the special Hot Pursuit Tribute Porsche 911 GT3 RS Seacrest County Edition, which I've also included in this video. One of the best things about the GT3 RS in Need for Speed World is the fact that it comes with a very nice manufacturer vinyl, which you can then change it. What I mean, you can change the color of this manufacturer vinyl and have a whole ton of mix and matches with the color schemes. Which, it seems that they haven't really done that much of, even presently, as of like 2013. In this part of the video, I am showing you the available body kits, the available spoilers, and the available hoods, which there are none available for this car, in the aftermarket shop. Well, I debated speeding this process up, but on my computer it really, really looks terrible when I try to double the speed, so please bear with me. I mean, it's a good thing to see. If you're interested in this car, you can see what you can do with it visually before you want to buy it. So, um, yeah. Well, some interesting notes about this Porsche. Uh, when this car was first released on the August 9th, um, the previous king of uh, Tier 3, because, you know, this back in 2011, was the Murcielago LP640, which then brought a bunch of controversial information about it because it was a boost car that was faster than the in-game cash cars. Then, this shattered that in every single way possible by just outclassing the Mercy Lago in every single way possible. This car became a king for actually quite a long time. I mean, it's an amazing car. You just wait till you see it in races. Well, when you're looking around this car visually, I'm also going to tell you that I put parts of the, uh, uh, Seacrest County car in two. The reason being that I'm combining the two videos is because my Seacrest County I threw a bunch of ultra parts on it so then I couldn't do a full overview of it because then I would either have to A buy another Seacrest County Porsche 911 or B just get rid of those parts and really put the race parts on as skill mods. So I'm just going to tell you that at the end of the video. You know, it also gives you a chance to see what this thing performs like when it's ultra parted. But, uh, you know, sorry. Alright, time to let the cat out of a bag and open up this thing's full potential. This is what the car performs like if you just keep it with the parts that you have, um, you know, the uh, street tune parts that you get by buying it for the boost in the shop, the stock version. Also, I put it, I put, um, five one star uh, nitrous duration skill mods for the start of it so I could, you know, get ahead of the AI. So, in performance, this thing has amazing acceleration through the first one through five gears, with the six gear being uh, only useful in like one sort stretches of a road. The handling, that's where it can catch you up. It has a great handling system. The problem is it can spin out if you try it too hard. Also, it will catch you out. And also don't ever use cosmic nitrous in the corners. Because this thing has the most power one of the most powerful nitrous systems in the game. And when you try to take a corner using a nitrous, you'll just spin out. So, be a buy. Well, I am able to do good in drag races, I still would not fully recommend it if you're just buying this car for drag. Because, I mean, while this thing is very fast, it still can barely hold a hand candle to a uh, Marcelago SVs and Shinkways in uh, drag races. But, I mean, it's a good car, but not the best in drag. Alright. By now, you've probably noticed this video is longer than most of my normal videos. Well, because it's one of my second first time of doing a stock car, it's actually my second time, but everyone's top of all, it's a 370 It's the first time doing an actual stock car. So that's why I threw the body kits in and stuff like that. Also, I have a full run of high stakes team escape, which I could either split up into parts so my main issue with that is that um, my movie maker just it lags horribly when I split a full video into pieces. 
and it's all one big recording, but I actually think it might be useful to someone who's wanting to buy this car for the first time, so be advised, it, it's going to be a while, but it's a pretty good run on high stakes. Uh, for Team Escape, this thing can avoid roadblocks and avoid Vibrantos like it's a natural, okay? See what things going ahead of you, just swerve and you will miss them, okay? Unfortunately, you still can spin out if you're driving too hard and too aggressively, trying to avoid the police. Don't be here with roadblocks, this thing's a track car and this thing will get stopped by the roadblocks. Basically, it's just don't be a hero. The car isn't. The car is not a juggernaut. It's by no means a heavy car, so don't act like it. Act like you, you use its precision handling to avoid everything in its path, and that's how you ensure a good team escape. Like my run. See, not perfect. You see me hit the roadblock where I just get stopped dead in my tracks. But that's not the problem with you. You just gotta be persistent, drive it out, handle with care. And uh, just don't try taking on big heavy vehicles in this thing because it will almost certainly lose and get stopped dead in its tracks. Also, thank you to my friend Derby Mail for uh, doing a high stakes run with me. The Seacrest County Police Department Edition features an unnamed body kit, prime carbon fiber spoiler, and SCPD-003 license plate. The skill mods that come with the Seacrest County are two two-star nitrous power, two two-star nitrous duration, and one two-star. Yeah, if you're familiar with Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010 Edition made by Criterion, you can see that this car is directly from there. I mean, that's what it is. It's a very nice car too. I mean, I like it. It's a good addition of this car, but if you want something more stock, just go for a stock one. I think you're just paying for exclusivity because you can't get this kit. Well, the normal Seacrest County comes with race uh, performance parts. Well, this one has a bunch of ultra parts on it and racing skill mods. This is to show you what the car looks like. It's built to a full potential. And uh, thank you for watching. Please enjoy the ending of this video.